All right, what's up guys? So welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's video, what I'm gonna go over is how I literally went from having no experience in tech, in tech to landing my first role as a network engineer and how I made that jump literally going from zero to a network engineer and my personal story of how I got there. So I'm um, going back to school, um, back when I was in high school, I didn't know what field in sort of what industry to get into. I was looking at civil engineering because that really uh, intrigued my interest. I looked at uh, pharmacy. I looked at um, even nursing for a bit. Um, but I was just looking at different um, fields in, in, in just all around college. I didn't know what field to get into. Um, I ended up deciding to do civil engineering, right? So civil engineering is, as you know, completely different from tech. You're really working with construction. You're working with highways, road design, bridges, architecture, things like that, right? And, um, you know, I was doing that in college. I did not like it at all. In fact, you know, I, I liked math, right? I took all the way up to calculus three. So I was, I really enjoyed math. Um, but physics, I just hated it. Right. I, I couldn't stand physics. I was taking physics. Um, and I decided like, you know what, this is not for me. I have a really true interest in technology. This is something that's always sparked my interest, something that I've always wanted to do. And I knew that like, if I stuck to doing civil engineering as my main major, I probably should have never done that. Or I probably should, I should just switch my major and do something else. So um, in that time, I was a bit wishy-washy with school. I wanted to get into tech, but I just wasn't 100% sure of how to get in. I didn't know anyone in the technology industry. I had no connections, did not know anyone. So I was completely lost. And what I noticed is when you're lost in a new field that you don't know anything about, you're going to, you would do drastic decisions that are really bad decisions in hindsight. Um, but in that time, I ended up going and just deciding to do a CIS major, uh, which is a computer information systems, which is basically a kind of a business major with a little bit of uh, computer science, not really computer science, but mostly just IT stuff. They teach you like cybersecurity, they teach you networking, of course, they teach you data analytics, they teach you um, SQL, which is also data they also teach some other stuff, right? So they, they teach you every facet of technology. Um, and they really just give you the insights on that. And that was a pretty decent program. Um, I went through that program. And then after I graduated, I literally had all these weird skills from cybersecurity, from business analytics to um, all these other skills that, you know, programming. And I didn't know which field to sort of pick, right? And I was completely lost. I didn't know where to go to. Um, and I was like, yo, what, where am I? Okay. I graduated college. Where am I going to go? I don't have any skill sets. Right. And I realized like, bro, like I don't have anything. So I, I found my uncle and my uncle, he was a network engineer and in that time. So he really just inspired me and showed me like, yo, like you can become a network engineer. And I was like, what's a network engineering? And, and keep in mind when you're new, uh, you knew you kind of had a fundamental understanding, but like at the end of the day, when you have someone close to you who's in a field that you are interested in doing, you're, you're going to cling to them. You're going to ask them questions. You're going to see where they're at. And that's what I did. And I asked my uncle, like, yo, what's, what does a network engineer do? What's the process? How do I get into this field? I'm lost. Give me some advice, right? And he gave me all the game. He gave me all the advice. He told me what certifications to get. He told me what skills I need to learn. And I ended up just going crazy, went on packet tracer and did all that stuff. So I ended up getting all those skills, right? And that in of itself, if I had that when I was 18, I'd rather just do that and get those skills because I realized like, yo, I can't believe I went through all this college curriculum. I did all of it. And at the end of the day, I had no skills that the job market wanted, right? I was a college grad. Awesome. But I didn't have the, I didn't have the required skills, right? And that was a big mistake in my honest opinion, because I realized like, wait, how am I going to get a job? If I don't have the skills. So I asked my uncle, he gave me all the skills. I ended up getting my CCNA certification um, back then in 2021. And I got that certification. Then I was like, okay, cool. I have the certification. I got the skills. I've been doing packet tracer. I've been doing labs. And that's the most important thing that I focused on was doing a ton of labs, a ton of labs, tons of practice, asking my uncle, picking his brain, asking him, how do you do this? What do you do this in day-to-day -day basis? What is the average person do as a network engineer? What's your day-to-day -day life? What should I learn? What should I focus on? Right. And I did all that. Right. And once I did all that and I really honed in on those skills, I started to realize like, okay, cool. I got the skills. I got that. Um, next step is he just started told me like, Hey, you have all these, all the skills. You start applying for jobs. And I ended up applying for jobs, I ended up finding a position as a network engineer that I still work today. And if it wasn't for my uncle, 
I probably would have never been in this position, right? And I'm so thankful for him, for him teaching me, showing me the skills, showing me the skills to learn, because if it wasn't for him, to be honest, I would have probably been the person who's looking at software engineering, look at a data analytics, looking at cybersecurity, trying to find out which field in tech to go into. And I'd be completely lost, completely confused, and wondering which field I, I should go into, right? And I've been in this jungle, right, where you're on YouTube, analysis paralysis, watching video after video after video, right? Um, trying to find which area in tech to get into. And guess what? All those hours that I wasted watching all those videos, deciding where to go into, I could have just picked one field, stuck to it, mastered it, got a position, and then get even more skills at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, if your goal is to get a job, pick a field and stick to it. Don't get too dramatic on which field is better than other, which is more saturated than another one. Um, although I do believe network engineering is the best, right? But you got to just pick a field and stick to it, guys. Like, don't focus too much on, like, oh, it's is it difficult? Is it this? The more you think about stuff, the more, the, I'm, I'm just going to be honest, the more you look at into things, the worse it gets, right? The more you look into things, the worse it gets. So I um, ended up landing a job as a network engineer. Um, and I feel like I ran too much. But um, I went to the job as a network engineer. And after I got the job, um, here's the thing. Like, I had the biggest FOMO, not FOMO, um, I had the biggest, like, imposter syndrome ever, right? The biggest imposter syndrome ever. Because here's the thing, right? I went to school, got my certification, all that. But then now I'm going to, from a school environment, from all this learning behind the scenes to a more production environment where I'm actually configuring things, learning things, touching things. I'm working with other network engineers. And I'm a brand new engineer. I'm like, how am I going to transition into this role? Right. And I struggled a lot. I really did struggle like in terms of how am I going to do well in this sort of position? Because like I said, all this was new to me and I was really confused and I was like, wait a minute, how am I going to do this? Right. And I just stuck to my guns. I said, okay, I'm always going to be asking questions. I'm, I'm only going to do stuff if I know 100% sure it's going to work and not going to cause any issues. And that's where I stuck to. And I always went ahead and kept learning my skills, looking for a mentor within the, the company, right? Always trying to improve your skills, even working after hours just to see how I can get better, right? And that's what you have to do, right? Because at the end of the day, learning, the learning never stopped, right? The learning kept going, it kept going, it kept going. And I try to just push myself as much as I possibly can, right? And that's what I ended up doing. I've been doing that ever since. And that's sort of how I made that transition, right? And it really all stems from having a mentor, having someone who you can go to, guide you, show you exactly what to do. And it, like I said, if it wasn't for my uncle to mentor me and show me the steps, there'd be no way I'd be able to not only have the position that I have now, but also get to the to the things that I've been doing now because I probably would have been the person wondering and wondering and wondering which field is better. And the best way to get out of that is having someone by your side who can show you. So one of the biggest recommendations I have for you guys is have try to find someone who can mentor you, show you exactly how to get to the goal to you, where you want to get to. Because when you're alone, trying to figure it out on your own, it's impossible, guys. It really is. You're going to really go insane sometimes, especially when in tech, when it's literally an ocean where you see a video about deep sake, right? With the AI stuff, you're learning about all these other stuff going on and you're learning about data and you're learning about automation and you're looking about, you're like, what am I supposed to do? Like layoffs. Oh my God. Like, should I even get to tech? Guys, take a deep breath. Things are going to be all right. But at the end of the day, do not overthink when you're ever trying to get into tech. Don't overthink. That's my biggest Thing I want you to understand the more you overthink the more you worry the more you're gonna just waste time think of overthinking as wasting time and that's where I sort of stemmed from and had that issue but um but yeah that's how I made that transition I started you know going to school didn't know where to go to got my CCNA certification <clears throat> and then I'm doing the interview my uncle also helped me with the interview he showed me how to pass an arc engineering interview how to talk in an interview how to present yourself well in an interview and all that stuff um so like I said having a mentor having someone guide you through the way, show you the steps, because there's a lot of steps, right? And some of these steps are, you can't have all these steps because everyone's in a different position. But yeah, having someone by your side, you can always call, always talk to, ask for advice is the most important thing you guys can possibly ask for when it comes to breaking into tech, right? So that's my little spiel on how I broke into tech um, and how I became a network engineer and love what I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to learn more on how to become a network engineer, or just looking for someone to mentor you, feel free to um, click the link down below where you can see my mentorship program if you're interested in that. 
where I can teach you exactly how to become a network engineer um, and teach you all the steps that, you, that are required to become a network engineer. Um, but also, um, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and please feel free to subscribe. I want to continue to make more videos and stuff like this. So if you guys find these types of videos helpful, feel free to let me know and I can make more videos like this. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and peace.